All right, just going to do a video showing some quick scriptures on the fact that Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone. And it also goes against the Roman Catholic false doctrine that Peter is the rock. You know, Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone, or also you can call him the rock, not Peter. But let's go to the scriptures. First of all, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 6. seems that the Apostle Peter contradicts this uh, Roman Catholic false doctrine. 1 Peter chapter 2, and verse 6. says wherefore also it is contained in the scripture behold i lay in sion a chief cornerstone elect precious and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded well we're going to get to what he's referring to in that verse there acts chapter 4 verse 10 to 11 again we have peter preaching here about the chief cornerstone acts chapter 4 verse 10 to 11 be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand before you, stand here before you whole. This is a stone which was set at naught, at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. He is the chief cornerstone. Peter's talking about there. Uh, Ephesians chapter two, verse twenty to twenty-one. See again what he's saying about the chief cornerstone. Uh, Ephesians 2, verse 20 to 21 says, And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building for, uh, fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord. So it's the foundation of the apostles and prophets, and then Jesus Christ the chief cornerstone, not the popes, the priests, and saints who came after Jesus Christ, is what he's saying here basically. I know it's not what the exact verse says, but that's what you get from this verse. It's the people, the prophets, the apostles, and the, and the word of God and Jesus Christ. Okay, But the Catholics like to add their popes and priests who came hundreds of years later to that mix when really they have no, they, they're nothing but usurpers of Christ's authority. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16, the scripture that Peter was referring to in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 6. Isaiah 28, verse 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Sion for a foundation, a stone, a, tri a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. <laughs> a sure foundation, meaning Jesus Christ is the foundation, not the Rome, not Rome or the Pope or anything. Interesting how he, how he does that. The precious cornerstone. That's, that's the scripture Peter was referring to earlier. Uh, Job 38, verse 6. Job 38, verse 6. Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened, or who laid the cornerstone thereof? Well, who is the cornerstone? Well, it's Jesus Christ. Psalms 118, verse 22. The stone which the builders refuse is become the head stone of the corner. Again, this is you can see a, a prophetic reference to Jesus Christ there. So I just wanted to show those quick scriptures about Jesus Christ, the fact that he is the chief cornerstone, not the popes, not the priests, not even the apostle Peter. Jesus Christ, the son of God, is the chief cornerstone of the church, which is the body of Christ, essentially. You know, I point to myself because I'm a member of the body of Christ. I am a member of the church of the living God. It's that simple. So anyway, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. It is a false doctrine. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.